All right, what's up, my people, man? Let's put attention on this fluid case, man, involving 19-year-old Mia Mercano out of Orlando, Florida. And this is video posted from her auntie, and I can you can see her in the middle in the gray. This young woman missing on Friday, September 24th out of the Arden Villa Apartments, which is right near the University of Central Florida where she was attending. In these apartments, she worked as well. Now, it's seen in the reports that they're saying they're showing signs of struggle inside of her apartment unit. She was set to go home to go visit her family. And I can see from photos that they are a super oriented family. They're a very tight knit family. Um, and this is just very odd for her not to show up. And this is a layout, aerial layout of this apartment complex. As you can see the surrounding areas. I see bodies of waters, like small lakes and stuff, a lot of wooded area. I think it is key for law enforcement, family and friends to gather, to create their search teams, to go out there and look in these areas for this young lady. Also, I hope the police and law enforcement are focusing close in because when you hear these cases, these are, tend to be cases of passion, whether it's some old weirdo stalking this girl, uh, a weirdo co-worker because you have had cases of that when you do case study on this type of stuff you have found where some weirdo co-worker or something who can have an attraction towards a woman and do something even somebody living in the complex i mean i want to see that this young lady is found i don't want to hear see that family go through that sort of pain of a 19 year old losing her damn life i couldn't imagine the pain of you having a child that you're raised to this point, getting this child off to college to go further education, advancing herself, and then to have some bullish like this come off behind some old weirdoness that is going on throughout this country. And this can happen to any one of us. We are parents. We can never act as if we're excluded from this that it never happened to me type shit. F that. We have all, I know I've dealt with tragedies i would never thought in a million years would happen that close to me to family and friends and stuff so let's not act like that those out there in orlando help this family this family i think the key to getting our stories pushed is to getting on social media there's so many people who do social media contact to get on here do the interviews the friends friends are very key in these cases to help and solve this when people are bringing up i want to switch to talking about that gabby Pertito case a lot of people are fe trying to draw on this racial shit that is not what opened the case for that girl thing that opened the case for that girl was the spins off of social media to where people begin to put their own social media detective work behind it adding in the clues and also providing these clues over the law enforcement media doesn't pick up into it until very late when this case start picking up and pro people start protesting in front of the family's homes. So this ain't a media thing picking up because it's a white girl. This is a thing of driving the story, pushing our own narratives when telling our stories and generating the, the focus and eyes on these cases to find what is going on because there's thousands of young girls missing and no one hearing their stories and it's key upon the friends and families to get out there and speak i do interviews so you see this video hit me up let's talk about it let's go live and talk about it let's push our stories get them out there get the friends on here because i think that is key friends may know what guys she may have been involved with who she's been having issues who she finds and strike as being weird that may have been watching her in some un, un, you know, welcome type of way. Like those are the things that have to be looked out. Nineteen is too fucking. Young. This is a baby. Like this is a baby, and there's so many of us, is millions of parents of who are out here, the girls who we have to watch out. Even young boys are prey to shit. I mean, parents, we have to look out. Orlando family, family can travel. Look out for this family. Search these damn key areas around these apartments and i wonder if the apartments have uh surveillance and that's another problem inside this country where you see a lot of crime committed at complexes at apartment complexes and some of the unsolicited guests of tenants who um visit apartment complexes and then you tend to find out when things go down that apartment complexes do not have surveillance a lot of them don't have good lighting 
Uh, uh, some of them are in areas to where if someone were to scream, you couldn't hear anything. I mean, America has to have greater standards when it comes to surveillance and the upkeep of how apartment complex should be. Uh, should be. Um, and a lot of criminals know this ish, but uh, you have to be observant, report shit when you see it. But uh, this is Mia McConnell. Let's help it out. Peace.